Ready to see how fun science can be? Dive into the amazing world of science? Forget memorizing facts. This year is all about asking questions, cool experiments, and discovering wonders. So what is science? Is it just a collection of facts and figures? It's not just a bunch of facts in a book. It's a dynamic process of discovery. It's a way of thinking, being super curious, exploring the unknown, always asking questions, and being open to new ideas and discoveries. Science covers everything. It's about collaboration and experimentation from the tiniest cells inside a leaf where life begins to the vast movement of the sun and stars mapping the universe. It even covers the everyday things around us like the technology we use, like testing materials at home, conducting simple experiments or understanding how water flows underground, shaping our landscapes. What is special about the page numbers in this book? The page numbers are designed to look like a butterfly flying and a paper plane soaring, showing that learning takes off when you're curious. Even the pages of your new Curiosity Science book are special. They are designed to spark your imagination and make learning an adventure. This shows us that learning truly takes flight when your curiosity leads the way. Just like a paper plane, your ideas can soar high. Did you know that simple things like paper planes inspired real scientific exploration into flying? It's amazing how curiosity can turn simple play into groundbreaking discoveries. From birds' wings to modern aircraft, the dream of flight started with observations and experiments. Curiosity has always been the driving force behind human innovation and progress. What deeper questions will we ask in Grade 7 Science? We will ask questions like, how do things work? Why do events happen? And what can we learn from patterns in nature? How will we learn about science in this book? We will learn by doing activities and experiments to experience the world and understand our environment. What is the connection between human activities and the natural world? As science explorers, you will see how human activities are connected to what happens in nature and in society, and how science can help us solve environmental challenges to create a more sustainable world. What different fields of science will we read about? We will read about topics in physics, chemistry, biology and earth sciences. Even though they seem like different topics, they're all connected. Discoveries in one area often inspire new questions and breakthroughs in another. So what will we learn about first in this book? We will start by looking at the properties of materials around us, like why some fruits are sour or what happens when we wash a haldi stain. How will we classify materials? We will classify materials based on their properties by playing with electric batteries, lamps and wires to see which materials make a lamp glow. This will lead to learning about metals and non-metals. What kinds of changes will we explore? We will explore changes that can be reversed and changes that cannot be reversed, like batteries running out, ice melting, fruits ripening and rocks breaking. How does heat relate to changes in materials? Some changes happen, or happen faster, when things are heated. We will look at how heat flows, such as ice melting in a glass or a glacier. How does water flow around the Earth? With heat from the sun, water evaporates from the seas, falls as rain and can trickle underground, often far away. Why do our bodies change as we grow? As we grow, especially in middle school, our bodies change rapidly because of life processes essential for survival, like eating, breathing and blood circulating nutrients. How do plants get their food and breathe? Plants also need food to grow, and over time life on Earth has found balanced ways for them to get food and breathe. 
So how did early humans measure time? Hmm, that's a really interesting question, isn't it? Let's dive into some fascinating history to find out. Long before electric clocks, early humans used the shadows of objects in the sun to tell the time. How do light and shadows help us understand the universe? Asking questions about the nature of light helps us understand the universe including phenomena like eclipses when Earth and Moon cast shadows and why we have day and night depending on light from the sun. Each chapter in this book builds on what you already know, providing a solid foundation for new concepts. It encourages you to ask questions, explore different ideas and engage in hands-on experiments, helping you to think like a scientist. So, get ready to ignite your curiosity and dive deep into the wonders of science. Explore the ever-evolving world of science, where every discovery leads to new questions and exciting possibilities. Happy exploring!